Knowing as much as possible about a fire keeps fire officers safer and helps them bring dangerous situations under control with speed and accuracy. Increasingly, fire services nationwide are looking to drone technology to give them a tactical advantage. Consortic provides the specialist training that a fire service drone team needs to get their wings and fly, as Katie Haswell reports. Drones are taking off in a big way. Popular with film directors and TV producers, unmanned aerial vehicles are used by all kinds of people, from children and hobbyists to commercial companies and blue light services. In the right hands, a drone can be an invaluable tool in helping the emergency services to save lives. And that's because with a drone, you get the big picture. And from the sky, you can see things you can't see from the ground. The Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Service is using unmanned aerial vehicles to monitor dangerous situations. To understand the regulations and potential hazards in busy airspace, firefighter drone pilots need specialist training. If you have a look on your map around about the Isle of Wight... Drone company Consortic offers a range of Civil Aviation Authority approved courses designed by airline pilots and commercial drone operators. Firefighter John Bourne is completing his unmanned aircraft qualification to fly drones as a professional aviator. It's a course which Consortic designed specifically for fire crews in collaboration with serving fire officers. The training course here is the uh, UAQ fire. We go through things such as air law, um, airspace, human factors. Um, we teach them about uh, the weather and how that can potentially impact on their, on their operations. And they also have a flight planning exam. Crews preparing for a training exercise of a simulated fire at an agricultural college near Exeter. Now a fully qualified drone aviator, John is using the UAV to get a bird's eye view of the incident. This is very useful. I mean, for me, um, one of our biggest things is the fact that if you're too close to a situation, you can't see it. Yep, so one of the reasons we bring the officer in charge back to the command support vehicle is because he's away from it. So me being away and looking, I can see stuff that somebody standing next to him wouldn't be able to see. Once the drone has captured the footage, it ends up here at the incident command vehicle, assisting the commander in deciding how to allocate resources. The real-time images from the drone allow us to look at the scale and the size of the fire and the scale and the size of the building, I look, so we can see where our resources are deployed and also where we can see potential for the fire to spread. And that makes it so we're far more effective and safe at dealing with the incident. The footage means officers can make life or death decisions about crew safety. Withdraw, withdraw. Knowing who's where and pulling them from danger. I can look at the roof, which is, which is an aspect we don't normally get. So if the fire was breaking through the roof, I could actually say, guys, you know, you need to come out. You know, we need to get these guys out now. There's signs of collapse, which is something, unless we got some hydraulic platform, one of our big ladders in there, um, it, we, couldn't, we couldn't actually do that one. The drone phenomenon might be in its infancy, but new technologies are just around the corner. In the future, and certainly now even, there are things like thermal imaging cameras available. You can get gas sensing equipment. You can do radiometric data analysis. You can do volumetric data analysis. You could put a Geiger counter under there. You know, all of these sensors now, and manufacturers now are starting to realize that drones are a very credible platform to fly their sensors and there's a lot of shrinkage of technology coming down so you can actually fly them on some of the commercially available drones today. As the popularity of drones soars, Consortic are equipped to help those in the business of saving lives to fly them safely and responsibly. <laughs>